Hello guys, this is Al from Opens the Channel. Welcome to a new episode. Again, today we're going to talk about Docker and I'm going to show you a nice, simple feedback app that you can install on your Docker where you can get and receive feedback. It's a very simple application and you can install it in a few minutes. Without any delay, let's go and start. For this application, I'm going to use the domain name Open Source. As you can see, you already got one set up and the nginx i also got the setup for the domain and the subdomain that's all i done it and the ip automatically get redirected by cloudflare now without any delay let's go and this is my guest again all the information in the description below this is the actual code that you need to insert so all you do is copy you go to your portainer you go to stacks I already got one already made, but what you do is add the stack, you add your name of the stack, you can actually paste your code. Now make sure you change your domain, make sure you change the password here for the password the database. Again, here you want to change your password that reflects here, okay? And again, you want to change your SMTP um, host, okay? with the one you use at the moment i'm using mailtrap here and that's how i test applications back here so you want to put your email for no reply again you can put anything you want there make sure you go to the base url setup and is available otherwise you get error and again you want to you can generate a new 512 bit secret code here on this website once you've done that and you're happy with that you ready to go all you got to do is just deploy the stack that's exactly what you're going to do after a few minutes let me cancel that you will find the container up and running there are two containers one is the database and the other one is the app once you go to your uh, published port again this 3000 again it will work you need a domain for this all right so you get to this page where you are going to add your name your email and again the feedback forum that you want to create in this case i don't know you can't see here but it's osc uk and then you send it will say thank you so much for registering that is the email that you're going to get let's go back here you get an email like this where you need to click and verify once you have verified for example you will get the page that you've been verified technically i'm already inside so let's have a look how you do it so as you tell you what what you want to do is you sign out you're gonna put your emailing there all right then you're gonna do sign in you're gonna get an email again that's how you do it and you're gonna click on this sign in and why it will be not otherwise i don't know but let's go back here oh that's the reason why so the address is .co.uk not uk that's the reason why let's go back here and now it should work now i already got two websites uh sorry two posts already done it to enter posts to enter feedback anyone can register really you need the suggestion suggestion name and the actual description here you can add a image and then you submit okay yeah people can leave a comment have a, a discussion they can unsubscribe they can respond they can edit whatever they need to do let's go to the settings and this is the settings of the user again you can actually delete the account if you wanted to because you don't want to do that let's go to the site settings we got the general information of the site you can add a new logo you can actually add one of those available languages privacy you can have a private site or no private site it was private but i'm going to put it back uh private you cannot register uh when it's private it's private you're going to do it in a certain way but i'm you know if you want people to register you what you could do is just unclick that here you will have all the members again there's only one available now you can have tags invitation you can send invitation to people if you have privacy on 
if you don't have a privacy number, people can register, all right? Again, we got the authentication, email authentication. You can actually have off providers, Facebook, Google, GitHub, again, and etc. Again, you can have custom CSS. You can do some web hooks, and you can actually export all the information. That's how simple it is. Let's go back to the my settings and let's tell you what let's go to uk and again you can see the actual view and you got some trending posts or not or you can have recent most wanted most discussed and you can actually vote as well if you go back here let's go back here you can actually vote i believe from somewhere or actually you could do after yeah exactly you uh, you actually send i can't do it because i made it myself that's the reason why i can't do it but if someone makes a new uh, suggestion I can actually vote for it again moderation I can delete it if I wanted to because I'm also a moderator for this particular um, post and that's it really guys this is a very simple app to use for you to get feedback from people again I hope you enjoyed it guys and I'll see you next time